Greetings, folks. Today we're going to take some Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut and install that on the Acer Nitro 5. So we're going to have a little teardown here. Any uh, questions relevant to this laptop that are not relevant to the teardown, please feel free to watch the review as those questions will likely be answered there as they will not be answered here. So let's first start off by removing the hard drive cover, which is empty and the RAM slot cover. Excellent. Looks like we have one slot available. Now let's start taking this bad boy apart. Dear Lord, Acer, maybe a few more screws? <laughs> Good God. All right, let's see how this thing comes apart. All right, that was an unnecessary struggle, particularly over where the LAN port is. But other than that, pretty much par for the course, pretty normal stuff here. <sighs> Looks like Acer went with the uh, cooling solution, such as this one here. I'm not particularly fond of it. We've got uniformal symmetry here over the CPU. GPU's got a decent sized square piece here, but I would much rather have this in the center with fans on the side. The uh, new Acer Predator Helios is doing the same darn thing. It looks like this is gonna come off in one piece. All right, let's start by taking off the fans. Get to unplug the battery for good measure. All right, let's see if this is enough to remove the heat sink. All right, now I could just as easily unplug the fans. I really don't see the need to. We can leave this right here and let's uh, go ahead and clean off the contact surfaces. The thermal application from Acer, they did a very good job, but the paste looks very dried up. It's got to go.
All right, let's put the paste back on for the CPU die as it's rectangular shape. I'm gonna do a very small line method across here. And the GPU with the square die, I'm gonna put a little bit smaller than P size, maybe BB size, smack dab in the center. I like Thermal Grizzly Cryo not quite a bit. It can be pretty expensive for a tube this size. Link in the description below, but I have done dozens of laptops and I have not ran out yet. All right, let's put it back together. Give Acer, Acer one thing. It would appear that the uh, thermal pad contact with all the important spots is not compromised. So nice job there. Not as if this thing had a major cooling issue from the factory, but repasting it, if we can improve it, then uh, why not? All right, let's put it back together. All right, folks, that's gonna conclude the Acer Nitro 5 teardown, repaste, and reassembly. It's a very easy job. The only part you may have a slight hang up in is over here by the LAN connection. And that's gonna do it for now. Hope you enjoy the video. Please feel free to check out the review for further and detailed information on this product. And I'm Bob of all trades. Peace out.